Well, beginning tomorrow, Metro Police will now activate a brand new tool to catch more abusers and even rapists. It's one of the few police departments in the entire nation using this brand new technology. Our Community Affairs Director, Angela Kane, is shattering the silence with an exclusive report on new hope for victims of violence. Most days of the week, police rush to the scene of crime. Many domestic violence runs, volatile and sometimes deadly, even for them. He left behind a uh, wife and uh, two kids. Nearly one year ago, IMPD officer Rod Bradway lost his life, shot to death, while saving a woman from her armed boyfriend. And in the last year, there were nearly 5,000 domestic abuse calls to a Central Indiana hotline, an increase of 34%. This is a growing trend. Um, it's not going away, and it's become an epidemic. IMPD Detective Steve Renzulli works in a place with a close connection to abuse victims, the IMPD Domestic Violence Police Unit. It's housed inside the Julian Center, an emergency shelter. Tons of these uh, cases come across our desk, and a very, very small percentage uh, end up getting prosecuted and punished. And that's his frustration, because even when abuse victims say they were hit or strangled, the evidence is not always obvious. In over 60% of those cases, there are no external signs of injury. Even though you may not see anything externally, there are cases where victims have died days, weeks, and even years later as a result of injury from strangulation. Linda Major is the Director of Domestic Violence Initiatives for the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. As a deputy prosecutor, she's determined to get more abusers off the streets, especially those who strangle. One out of every four runs that the law enforcement officers do that deal with domestic violence involves an incident of strangulation. Linda says it's one of the strongest precursors to murder. Here is the alternate light source. So IMPD and the Marion County Prosecutor's Office are piloting a new weapon that will gather more evidence to convict criminals. It's a camera called Illumicam 2, shining a special forensic light on victims' injuries. It's going to combine different light sources, uh, wavelengths, and spectrums to penetrate actual layers of the skin and bring bruising to the surface. It's going to capture uh, things not necessarily visible to the naked eye. In this picture, a bruise turns into better evidence under a Lumicam 2. And in this picture, the camera shines more light on evidence for rape victims. Body fluids such as semen more prominent under the camera's lens. Anything that can help us uh, win cases, you know, is good in my book. They never let me give up. For abuse victims like Renita Hills, this new weapon on the Indianapolis streets is empowering. It's a closer step to us getting free from abuse. Twelve years ago, her estranged husband stabbed her 13 times in front of her five-year-old daughter. Four stab wounds to the chest, two of which punctured both my lungs. They were punched and collapsed. This is going to help us to prosecute some of these people before a life is taken or before they have to be hospitalized. Prosecutors say the camera won't solve everything, but it will hold more criminals accountable and save more lives. A federal grant is funding the new cameras. We can help police fight crime. Take the blue pledge on WTHR.com. Join us in shattering the silence.